The booster true to its name is that it's going to boost the available pressure that you have coming out of it. So if I'm running four gallons a minute out of a spigot, yeah, it's going to boost that pressure and it's actually going to suck a, a little more water out of the spigot. So I'm going to be getting about eight gallons in there probably coming out of that spigot, depending on the flow. Now if I turn this dial right here and this dial, I'm now feeding through the proportion. The proportioner are you familiar with the proportioner controller? Okay. This device here, this proportioner, it is a proportioning unit. I have a soap tank, I have a water tank, and a bleach tank. With these three dials, I can get any ratio of these three fluids that I want. I can get 100% water on this setting. I can get 100% bleach on this setting. I can get 100% soap on this setting. Or I can get anything in between. I can get 1% bleach. I can get a roof pitch of 4%. Um, I, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very steep pitch roof. I want to kick my stuff off and maybe put my folks, myself on five so I get a little more stick. Um, the other thing, so I'm not mixing, I'm not single batching these chemicals. There is no mix tank on here. I'm literally pulling water, bleach, so it's, it's incredible. I mean, it really There's no degradation it. either because you're going to pull it straight as bleach right there and pull your soap. It's not mixing, there's no, no waste. shelf no. life. Here's, how are you applying that? Are you single batching? Are you, are you next genning or uh, downstream? And, and, and I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not very well versed in downstreaming. Literally, I've got, that. I've got four of these. You might have pressure washers attached to it as well for concrete cleaning. It had a downstreamer that came zip tied to it. I, I literally took it off and threw it on my bucket part tire. Um, on this, if, if we're here's here's the nice part. If you're doing where are you at where are you looking at? Okay, are you doing any roofs at all? No, I would like to, but I'm not seeing so, there's nothing the more to do like here. But if, if you're doing a roof or if you're doing concrete or, or a heavier um, let's say you're doing a, 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 a synthetic stock as you're having a problem downstream you don't get a, a, a strong enough mix. Okay. So I'm doing the synthetic stock at a a three percent and let's say the back of the house is fine. Okay? So I don't I don't need a three percent on that final I need about a half a percent mix, but I need a three percent of the stock. Right? So I'm spraying along, I'm three. I've got my soap set on two. I'm spraying and applying. I know whenever I've got about 50 square foot left, about 40 seconds or so, I'm going to tell my tech, hey, put me on one. So I'm spraying. He puts, and what he does is he goes, boom, turns the detergent all the way up, which is going to introduce what we call a soap bump or a marker into the line. So now he cuts me to one. He cuts this to a 1%. So I'm finishing up the stucco, and then all of a sudden, as I get down to, if I've timed it out just right, I get a big blob of soap coming out of there. I know everything behind that is now a 1% house mix. Yeah. So now I keep pulling all my vinyl on the 1% house mix. Um, then after I got the salmon at the house at one time, soap at the house at one time, now I just come in here, I do this valve, I turn in this valve, and yeah. I'm ready. I, I'm now, I've got 40 seconds of solution mixed in here. I can see if there's any little like, missed spots on the gutters. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Now I'm on water and I start. Yeah. So most guys that are doing this, not to mention I have five guys back in my truck. I guess instead of walking back, I mean walking back. Quite a bit of walking back. You can, you can, but I mean this has this actually has a remote control system on it too. And I can say on, off, I can also, now I cannot adjust my percentages yet, but I can switch from water to kit to, to water to rinse to chemical on that too. Yes, right here. And that's like a 300 foot range. And I literally, I hit, that turns the pump off. Boom, that switches from water to rinse. That switches from rinse back to water. It's, it's high tech. <laughs> How do uh, systems 
come. I guess you can buy piece by piece. You can buy. You can buy. Uh, you can, uh, yeah, you can literally, you can buy a proportion. You can buy <coughs> this. We call this the booster in the box. Um, this comes with with actually the automatic valves, the control wizard, the booster pump, and a proportion are all. You know. So, Basically, you have. This is a great starter. You have two tanks. You have two tanks and a bucket of soap. You can build your system yep. on that and, okay. and, and put this wherever you want to. Yep. Or you've got that type system that's a fully plumbed out, ready to roll system right there. Or you can buy a booster, you can buy a proportioner, and you can buy a bag full of things and go to tank or Spent a lot of time at Lowe's. A lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of back and forth. Where's my early? Where's my early? Damn, there's my camera. You know, everybody, that, everybody that's gone in the doctor, the booster pumps have absolutely. Yeah, I know a lot of people are. And I guess most guys are just moving to this and using fresh water. It's great for concrete. Yeah. This is great for concrete. Yeah. I mean, you know, a great example of this. I mean, you know how stiff your, your That's no hard part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know, it's going to be easier and nicer to to to, to drag around versus uh, you know, it twists up and yeah. Also, you blow this whenever you know your high pressure line blows. No problem. This is most likely not going to blow, but whenever you do, you get a yeah, you'll get a yeah, you'll get a kit together. Well, it, it'll blister and then it'll just spring a leak, and then it kills a spot of grass. Never hits you right in the in the boys, whatever. What kind of pressure does? You're going to build about 220 static. Um, you're spraying out because I mean you're variable. I don't use this type. I actually use just a Gilmore garden hose sprayer. And I can make a fan tip. I can make a jet stream out of it. But I'm getting about 140 out of the end, 150 psi whenever I'm on jet stream to the cone spray. And at 20 psi, 30 psi, and it generally is rain. Yeah. It's a lot easier control over it too, especially if you only need to get just this close spot to you. With those ones, it was either boom, it's open. All on or all off. Yeah, and then you're getting backsplash and everything with it. These are great for roofs. Oh, and can I? Very much the amount of trigger I pull for that. These aren't variable. These are either on or off. Yeah, those, and I had issues with those sticking. Um, and to be perfectly honest, those guns, 40, 30, 40 bucks versus a $5 spray gun. Or you can use a ball valve. We used to also just use a, just a ball valve, just a plastic PVC ball valve. That works too, and that way you can, if you want to, instead of tipping it down, you can just put it at, you know, quarter spray, and then you're just getting real light, light amount stuff. But, you know, how high can you walk? I can get 40 foot this. At this one, even one of those Gilmore. Like even Gilmore, go, go I get 40 feet. You get 40 feet. Yeah, I'm not necessarily knocking out a lost nest at 40 foot, but I'm getting yeah. a lot of reach on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. In a, in a, still a pretty solid stream. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm getting enough soap. And, I'm getting enough soap to get spider webs off at 40 foot. Um, and, and uh, absolutely. Yeah, you could, you could. Um, Something else with this too, you can put a you know a white tip in here, a fan tip, uh, 40 degree, uh, one and a half, two and a half gallon a minute tip, and really for doing a roof. Well, fence, you can really as long as there's a gallon a minute going through this, you're not going to pump. The pump's not starving at a gallon a minute. So you can tip this down and only get a gallon a minute out of here to go to paint a fence. So that is a big savings as far as paint goes. Very cool. They're fantastic. We, uh, the guy, uh, I guess, from Tampa, it's a huge spot. We really, really have to exchange information. I told him to come up to I run four of these systems myself. I told him to come up to see me at my shop in Tallahassee. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
Florida with about six really good players. Well, that's a big piece of our business that has potential to grow. So, yeah, I, agree. Got I agree. I mean, it's, 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 <laughs> window cleaning and, and, and exterior cleaning is just one of those things that goes together. Like. Yeah. Well, and what I'm getting more interested in and finding the, where my washing Oh, another thing cool about this, I do, I, I, I do more tall buildings in Tallahassee than anybody else. Um, I've gone up 15 stories on this, and I've still got enough application. Yeah, that's it. Which yeah. you're not going to do with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Maybe if you had three 12 volts in a line every couple of stories, yeah. you might get it. Yeah. <laughs> right. um, but yeah, I'm starting to think about. Many buildings that we're doing with grow access, it's like we're washing with a squeegee in a bucket. Yep. When the soft washing starts happening on the building, yeah. you know, it's really washing it down. Right. It's trying to squeeze you off windows. Yeah. You know, I guess if you if you if you were to go in here and get get with a, a pure water system on there and. and uh, yeah. There you go. Well, I mean, you could even it's right. It might right. be. I mean, slightly so cold. I think so. Cold and resin. Exactly. Like, you're probably going to town. Yeah. Right.